Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy and today I'm gonna to show you guys how I edit photos in Lightroom using Loop Deck Live. Now this is a very cool console. I've been having so much fun with it lately because it just makes editing so much more tactile. It's super fun and it's just a really cool experience. Sort of works as an extension of your mouse and of your keyboard but just like jam packed all in one really kind of powerhouse console. So the second half of this is that I've actually been thinking about doing photo editing live streams with you guys. I just think it would be so much fun, but live streaming seems really, really overwhelming to me. So I have avoided it for a really, really long time. The cool thing with the Loop Deck Live console is you get all the editing features, but also uh, features for live streaming with OBS. So I am really excited about that. The second half of this video, I'm gonna show you guys my live stream setup. It is super simple, so easy. So if that's something you've been thinking about, stick around till then. First off though, we're gonna jump into Lightroom. Now the first thing that you're gonna notice when you open up Lightroom with Loop Deck is that all of these tools here are gonna to change to be relevant to Lightroom. Now this just happens automatically, it's totally preloaded, so you can just kind of plug and play and you're ready to go. But if you want, you can customize everything that comes up here so it is exactly how you want it. So when you first jump in, um, we're in the library module, so we have our um, number ratings, we have our star ratings, our color labels, so we can actually go through, sift through our photos and decide which ones we're gonna wanna use. Usually for my favorites, I either give them a five star or I go ahead and I give them a red color label. And that just helps me know what photos I wanna go back to and actually edit, um, which are my favorites. Now to pop over to the develop module, you can just hit this number two on the round buttons there and it's gonna take you right over into the develop module and then all of your basic panel and in-depth panel edits are gonna come up in here. Now you can assign different workspaces to all of these different buttons here. So for me, I have my tone curve here on the three, on the four, I have presets, on the five, I have really in-depth color editing, and on the six, I have some more details um, like vignetting and masks, and number seven is to export. So if I go over to number four, these are my favorite presets. I loaded in which ones I use the most and I want to pop up here, so I can just tap it, and there we have it. It is applied to my photo and it looks so good. But now let's edit a photo from scratch so you can really see all the different tools that you can use in Loop Deck. So I'm gonna pop back over to the library. I'm gonna go on to the photo that I'm gonna edit. I think this is a good one. And then number two, and I am back in the develop panel. Now the first thing that I like to do when editing a photo like this is bring up the exposure. Um, we're gonna bring down the highlights a little bit. I think this one's gonna need those shadows to come up and that looks good. This is something that I often come back to a lot uh, because as you edit, it is going to change and you're gonna wanna kinda come back and finesse things. Uh, it's kinda driving me crazy that the horizon line isn't super straight there. So you can actually go in and edit that right within Loop Deck as well. And I think that, well, we're gonna go back in, get a little straighter. Up here I can hit fine tune details and then it gives me some other options. I'm gonna go in the tint and I'm gonna just add a little bit of pink there because I kinda wanna do like a purpley magical sunset look here. Uh, I can play with the vibrance. I'm going to bring the white point down a little bit and maybe with the black point I'm going to bring that down a little bit as well just because I know I'm playing with bringing up the shadows and everything. So that kind of gives that at a nice pace. So next, if we go into the tone curve, um, we can actually go and play with that as well. Um, I always like to go to extremes to see what I'm gonna like. I'm gonna bring the highlights uh, down a little bit, and then we're gonna go like that. And on this side, bring that down, because we still want the contrast in the image, but we also want those sort of dark points to be a little bit more visual. So that looks good. Number four again is my preset, so I could just pop something on there. And number five, we are in the color panel. Um, this is just really great because we can play with a lot of things. 
I love playing in the color grading panel and this just makes it so much more fun with the loop deck. So I think I'm actually going to add in some red into the highlights and then in the shadows, we're gonna go for that purple color. Don't wanna do too much purple. Um, I can find like maybe the blue looks a bit better. Kind of just have to play with this in finesse, but that's what's cool about using the loop deck to do this with, because you really just get to have that kind of tactile response. So I think just a little bit there is going to be good. And then I can play with the balance of the two as well. Um, so I'm gonna do that just like that. And maybe in those highlights, a little bit more of the red, just how it hits. Yeah, so that looks good. Next, I can go into the HSL panel of each of the colors. So first, what I'm gonna do is go into the aqua blue, because what I'm gonna do here is on that blue, I'm gonna turn it so that it's a bit more of a purple blue. So uh, you can either go teal blue or into the purple side of things. And, and that's what I'm going for with this photo. So I think that looks good. We can do the luminance. I think the luminance coming down a little bit is gonna look really, really cool. And in terms of color, I really like where that is going. You can also go into the um, camera calibrate dials if you want to make changes actually within the camera calibration, which is a great, like you can do some really amazing things with color in this panel. I think I'll do a little bit on the red there as well. Um, you can do a lot there with color. Uh, and so I think that that is starting to look really good. So if I go back to number two, I actually have a button here to see before and after. So let's take a look. I think we're, we're looking pretty good at this point. It looks like a whole different, a whole different scene. I do think that because this was so low light, we do have some noise in the image though. So I'm gonna go over to my other panel where I can actually do some noise reduction. And I think for this one, it's gonna need, it's gonna need, it's gonna need a good amount of noise reduction in there. We can also add some sharpening and then I always do the masking pretty high. So it's just edges and things that are gonna get sharpened there. And I think the last thing for editing is I'm gonna jump into um, the vignette and grain. So I definitely wanna add a dark vignette around this photo just to really kind of punch it up. You can change the midpoint. Uh, I always really, really feather it whenever I'm doing something like that. And um, you can go in and add some grain. That's just a total personal thing. Like sometimes I really like making photos super grainy um, because it does give them just this interesting kind of nostalgic vibe. Uh, but usually then I pull it back and I just end up doing a little bit of grain. So at this point I might go back to the kind of basic panel here. I can check the before and the after. Maybe now I'll bring up the shadows just a little bit. Maybe take down some of those highlights and um, we can go back in here, bring down some of the white just a little bit. And I think we are at a really good place with this photo. There is the before, there is the after, and this entire edit was done with the Loop Deck Live. All right, so now that we know how easy and fun it is to use the Loop Deck Live for photo editing, let's talk about live streaming. And to me, that is really what makes this such a powerhouse of a console because I can actually use it for both live stream and editing at the same time. So this just will change all these tools, all these knobs, everything changes depending what program you're in. So when I'm in OBS for live streaming, I'm gonna get all my live stream features. And then when I wanna jump over to Lightroom during the live stream to show you guys what it's all about, then it's gonna just automatically switch back to my Lightroom features, which is amazing. So at the same time, basically, I can use this to run the stream and edit the photos during the stream, which is just crazy. So we're gonna jump into uh, how I do that. I'm gonna show you guys how you can set it up for yourself. Now, this is the Loop Deck app that you can jump into, customize all the buttons in all your different programs if you want to do that. So the first thing that you're gonna do is jump over to OBS Studio, and OBS is 
what you want to do if you are live streaming. So within this, now we can actually go into OBS Studio. We can look at all of our scene collections. We can do our streaming commands and we can see all of the different scenes that I've made. So within OBS, I have my main video feed, uh, a Lightroom feed and a Lightroom background with a video feed. So if we actually jump over to OBS right now, we're gonna see um, how we have those scenes made. I have my video, I have my Lightroom that shows the Lightroom in the background and a little kind of picture and picture scene. Um, so what we can actually do is just use the loop deck to actually switch, um, go into studio mode, uh, I can hit video transition, and now this is gonna be the main video feed on my live stream. So when I'm actually gonna do it, and, and when I just do it with one monitor, I'm gonna bring this over to the side there, and when I want to change anything, tap and go, and then once I'm actually within Lightroom, then all of these tools, they snap back and they change back to my Lightroom editing tools. So I just think it is amazing that I can use this to live stream and then still actually use it for my Lightroom editing and show you guys what I'm gonna do. So I think that is a great all-in-one tool, live stream and edit at the same time. All right, so that's how easy it is to use the Loop Deck Live for photo editing and live streaming. Now, Loop Deck Live is compatible with a lot of Adobe programs, so Lightroom Classic, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, Audition. You can also use it with Final Cut Pro, Streamlabs, Twitch, OBS, Spotify, and you can integrate it into other programs if you would like as well. If you guys wanna pick up one of these consoles, this is the Loop Deck Live. Click the link down in the description below and I think you will have as much fun as I've had editing with it and also just streamlining your workflow. I think this is a great tool for any creative to add to their kit. I, I really, really love it. Also coming up, I'm gonna do that first live stream using this setup. So if you wanna see that, hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified. If you have any tips, uh, any hot takes on live streaming, leave it down in the comments for me. I can use all the help I can get. Uh, so we'll see how that first one goes. It'll be like a fun photo editing thing. So I think it'll be a chill, cool time for the first live stream. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Peace out, love you lots.